Fans of movie star and Iowa native John Wayne can still visit one of the sets where he made several of his more than 100 movies. Roger Riley takes us to sunny Arizona and old Tucson for a tour of the Duke's film sets. It's like walking through an old western. They also do dramas with gunfights at the old Tucson movie studio and amusement park. We're an Old West film studio and theme park that was built in 1939 by Columbia Pictures for the movie Arizona. Um, since then, we've had over 400 productions, TV shows, commercials, and films out here at Old Tucson. Well, here at Old Tucson, they get a lot of Duke fans here. In fact, you could even walk the streets where he made four of his movies. McClintock in 62. John Wayne chased Marino here right through this doorway, and she came out the front, the barn door. John Wayne was in the movie business almost 50 years, and he made over 175 films and 107 more productions. So he was the leading man in 142 motion pictures. But John Wayne was born as Marion Robert Morrison in 1907 in Winterset, Iowa. So John Wayne and Walter Brennan is going to blow up the warehouse. That's what the scene looked like. John Wayne was among a host of stars who worked here, including Ronald Reagan. In 1950, a guy named Ronald Reagan came up the street, playing a Confederate spy in a movie called The Last Outpost. Old Tucson hosted shows like Little House on the Prairie and a 60s Western called The Wild Wild West, featuring this locomotive. Yes, we do still get several productions a year out here, um, anything from music videos to feature films. Well, John Wayne stood right behind me in 1958, and Claude Aiken stood right here to my left. I'll run up along the creek, and he's going to meet Stumpy, who was played by the great Walter Brennan. Mm -hmm. The only actor, by the way, to win the Academy Award three times for Best Supporting Actor. Now, especially this time of year, Old Tucson is a popular spot for people who come here to catch some sun and also take in some Wild West nostalgia.